Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Abstract and Flow. Flow. <laughs> hey, um, I took a little break, and during my break, I did a few things. One, I checked out some other artists. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of good poor artists here on YouTube. And uh, some traditional artists. And uh, two that I have been in communications with. Um, Cat Bay. And she, her channel is called... Uh, CJ Pores and a young man with Seclusion Art Gallery. His name is uh, Satosh. Now, very different artists, but both are doing amazing work. Check them out. Also, during my break, guess what? I ordered my first set of pigments now once I received them I had to find out how to use them my first pour was a complete disaster you will never see it <clears throat> but what I did Kind of looked around, found um, a recipe that I was happy with, and I think I figured out what I was doing wrong, and I did a few experiments, and this is what I did. So let's get into that pour. Ta-da! Okay. Here are a few of the little piggies that I ordered and received. Now, what I'm doing is a recipe versus a recipe. Because my first failure, there was no shine, no pizzazz, nothing. So, um, I did some more research, did a couple of experiments, and I'm going to show you these two. So, this pouring medium, I used two parts bare, which is this here. Um, and one part mint wax polycrylic which is this here and as you can see it's a very thick consistency here I used two parts bare one part Floetrol and one part GAC now these are recipes again very thick consistency. Now, these two recipes are from two of my very good paint buddies. So, in my experiment, I said, let's see which one, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to give, is going to let the pigment do what the pigment is supposed to do. And that is shine and glitter. So here we have let's see little piggies lakeside mixed with the bare Floetrol GAC recipe. 
Now, let's look at that. That's a nice shine. That's a nice sheen. Right? And it's a good flow. Same color using the bare and only the mid wax polycrylic. Can you see the difference? Let's see if I can hold them up together. Okay. Look at the polycrylic sheen with the bear. And look at the sheen with <clears throat> the Floetrol GAC and bear. I am loving just using the polycrylic and bare. Let's look at another color. This is the Sangria. Okay, so here we have Bear, GAC, and Floetrol mixed. Um, yeah, I really didn't measure, but I mixed about this much of the pouring medium to a scoop of the pigment. And again, this is the Bear and the and the um, Midwax Polycrylic. Can you see the difference? Because I wanted to get the most, the most shine, the most sheen out of my pigments. And to me, the polycrylic bear recipe is giving me that shine, that glitter that I was looking for. Okay, enough of that. <clears throat> so, now that you've seen my little experiment, testing out how to mix my little piggies. Hey, little piggies, happy birthday. <laughs> so, we are going to get to blooming. Here we go. Okay, so, you know, I didn't want this to be a mixing video, but let me also mention that when I mixed the pouring medium in this little four ounce cup, I mixed two parts using this little um, measuring spoon. So this is a teaspoon. So two parts of the bear was two of these. And then one part was one of the polycrylic for this particular pouring medium. So parts could be equal parts of whatever you decide to use. If I was making a big batch, I could actually use the cup as one part. So two cups would be two parts, and then one cup 
of the poly acrylic will be one cup, one part. So your part is equal amounts of whatever measuring mechanism you decide to use. Because when people say parts, I always get confused, but that's how I kind of work it out in my head. So, just wanted to mention that, because um, I'm not mixing on, on camera, but this is how I did it. And then once I mixed the pouring medium, I did, um, like I said, from for this cup, about this much pouring medium to a good scoop of the pigment. So I did not measure anything. I kind of just eyeballed everything. If it looked too thick to me, then I added um, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of more polycrylic. So my white is Walmart's Color Place White, which is just white paint and a little GAC. hopefully to prevent any cracking. Let's let that spread out. Okay, let's get a nice, pretty, even coat. There we go. Now, I'm going to, like I said, do a bloom. And the additional colors that I'm using... <coughs> will be you already saw the sangria this is lemon uh, sorbet lakeside that is a really pretty color uh, let's see here this is the lily pad and twilight Now
So I scored some handy dandy little tools that are used for cake decorating. So I figured, hey, let's see if I could use these to modify my blooms.
next time I will work on blowing my petals so they're a little bit more defined but I like it okay look how those little piggy colors just oh my god shine now I can see the difference from the Floetrol mixture recipe and just the varnish recipe. Now, this here, if I can get in focus, that is the Floetrol GAC and this is the varnish polycrylic only and the um, bare. I can see the difference um, regardless it's beautiful it's shining and it's looking fabulous. Alrighty now. Um, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as I always say, stay safe, stay blessed. See you next board. Bye.